Hi, and welcome to a Photoshop tutorial. Today I'll be showing you how to create this brush letter effect. Today's video tutorial will be rated 3 stars out of 5 on the difficulty scale, it'll be for intermediate users. And before we begin, make sure to subscribe to my channel if you want more videos and tutorials like this one, and follow me on Twitter at shiny underscore films. But let's get straight on into the tutorial. As you can see here, I've got this wonderful portrait. The one thing your image is going to need is a plain background like this one. It's pretty flat, and that way we're going to be able to remove the subject, as we'll see in this first step. So to start off, I'm just going to hit Ctrl J on my keyboard, and that'll duplicate the background layer. This is because we want one layer with the subject and one layer with the background. So on this layer, we're just going to hit L to select our lasso tool. And you're just going to drag a rough lasso around your subject. It doesn't need to be very accurate at all, and make sure you have a little bit of distance between everything. Then just hit Shift F5, or you can go Edit and Fill. And then make sure the contents is content aware. And that'll fill the inside with stuff from the outside, basically. And hit OK, and Photoshop will do its thing, and it'll do its smart thing, and it'll fill everything on the inside in. And now we have a background, which is just the plain background, which will be very useful for us. The reason for this is that when we apply the brush splatter effect, some of this background is going to start being visible, and so we need that plain background. So to drag it below our foreground, just uh, double click on the background layer to create a new layer out of it, and then drag uh, the top one down. So, it's now time to start our second step. Now this is kind of optional, but it's one that I'd like to do, and it's the liquify step. So just go filter, and liquify. Here in the liquify panel, we can stretch and warp our video. Just make sure you're on the forward warp tool. You can also hit W to activate that, and make sure you have a relatively large brush size, and a relatively low density and pressure. And all you need to do is just drag, and you can see our video being warped. Now what we're going to do is we're going to keep the face completely intact, because that's some of the part uh, that I want to be completely visible. And then I kind of want it to uh, splatter away over here so that the left side is not so visible. And the reason why I'm doing this liquify step is so that when we stretch it, uh, we have more area to work with, because uh, when we do the spatter effect, then this part won't be visible to the point where it's recognizable. So we can just stretch it out of proportion so that we get those colors right, uh, but that we have some material that we can use to use the spatter effect on. You'll see what I mean later. That looks okay. And so I'm just going to hit okay, and now we're done with that. Our next step is to actually start applying the brush splatter effect. And so to do that, we're just going to add a new layer mask. A layer mask is basically a map that tells the video where it should be visible and where it shouldn't be. So to add one, just hit this little circular rectangular button here add layer mask, and you'll notice we have this white image on top of uh, our normal image here on the layer. And that's our layer mask. You'll notice if I just uh, grab the brush tool, make sure your foreground color is the default black, and make sure you've got uh, your layer mask selected instead of your original clip. Uh, if you select your original image, uh, then it'll just paint black onto the original image, which is not what you want. So if you just uh, make sure you select the layer mask before you adjust it, if we just paint black on here, you'll notice that it disappears, and if we paint white back on, I just hit the X to switch the foreground and background uh, colors. If we just uh, paint white back on, you'll notice it's now completely visible. And so what we're going to do is hit Control delete and that will fill everything in with our background color, which is currently black, which is what we want it to be. Now we're going to start brushing in our layer back again with a brush uh, spatter. So to do that, just hit the uh, Brush Settings button over here, and just go over into the Brushes panel. If you go down into the Special Effect Brushes, there are also a ton of Dry Media and Wet Media Brushes, uh, but these three Special Effect Brushes are really nice. Kyle's Spatter Brushes, and that's what we'll be using in this tutorial. Just select one of them, for example, uh, this one's pretty nice, and uh, just select it and start painting on, and you'll notice we get this really cool spatter effect. And all you have to do is just paint on this texture bit by bit until you get the final result that you like. The key to getting a really cool, really nice result is to make sure you vary uh, the size of your painting. So you can just hit the square bracket keys and that will uh, reduce or increase the size of your brush. And you want to start off with some big ones, I'd say. 
and then move smaller and smaller and you can start filling in detail little bit by little bit as you go along. So this might take a while for me, uh, I'll just fast forward until I get back. And that's the final brush spatter effect. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then be sure to leave it a like and of course subscribe if you want more videos just like this one. Follow me on Twitter at shiny underscore films. I'll see you in the next video. Stay shiny.